my babies and queens. Thank y'all for tuning in to Still Day Style 9, you guys. I'm pretty sure y'all are wondering, what is this big puff of hair in my head? Look at my shaka con. Shaka, shaka, shaka con. But no, guys. Originally, I started with wanting to do a quick weave. And, oh, Lord, let me just say you got to be patient with everything. And I'm not a patient person. You guys know that. I'm nervous. So I like everything to be done like any, me, 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 right now, right now. So anyway, nevertheless, I started on this. Um, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. And now that I'm looking at it, I see some errors of what I did. Um, and so I need to go back and like fix it. I really wasn't even supposed to have a parting space because initially, because my sides are faded, it was just supposed to be like a, a faded look like with the hair just going this way. And just, you know, rocking it like this, just being pow. But I don't know, I started putting it in and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, it was starting to look me cute because it had the little Jericho look. And I used to, when I used to put like weave in, sewing weave installations, it was like I used to always go for the little Jericho look because I thought it was so cute and it mimicked um, just a natural looking sister's hair. So, you know, I kind of missed that look um, and wanted it back. Um, and so I thought this was cute, um, and it is, but I'm thinking it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hair, and I'm not even done with the back. So I need to go back and like, like I said, take out some of this because this wasn't put on properly. I didn't do it properly. Fix that. Um, fix some little areas that I see because like the way I braided it, if I even told y'all, y'all be like, did you really braid it like that? I did, so I braided it in a kind of crazy way, but anything's fixable, you know, like, so all I have to do is undo this one, which I'm going to do off camera, and I'm going to take this braid, and I'm going to just put one on it, just to kind of blend it in. I don't know, you guys, I'm not through, like I said, it's a 1B27, I'm, I used not even six packs yet, I'm down to... One, two, three, four, no, three, four, four packs that I've used so far. And I really think I went overboard considering my hair is faded. But I'm going to, like I said, take this one out, take this braid and put it back right here and just kind of do some things. But I thought it was cute, you know, long because you can kind of put it behind the ear and it reminds me of one of my wigs, like, you know, like, hey, my wig, you know, because like I said, I wanted to do a quick weave. That was my initial approach. And I was kind of rushing, 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 and I've still been rushing. And I just couldn't find that look that I wanted to achieve. I, when I do a quick weave, I want it to be something that I keep in for at least two months. It, you know, it can last longer. It depends on how much you take care of it, but the longest I will go with a quick weave is probably two months. And some people are telling you probably two weeks, but it depends, you know, how you take care of yourself if you're a person that perspires. If you are a person that perspires, it probably won't even last you two weeks. Um, but nevertheless, I'm itching to take this one out, but you can see that's why I keep on like, because oh, it's annoying. You know, when you're putting it in, you don't always see where you're making your mistakes to after you get to almost to the very end and then you start thinking like mm. because with a crochet look even though these are very lightweight because they look like this you know when you get them in because i think i showed you guys when i first got these things in i really didn't know what to do with it i was just gonna leave it in my bedroom and never do anything with it uh i thought about doing like a wig cap and and then i just decided today i said you know what time to do something with it so I guess I'm gonna probably take this one out um and just kind of like start condensing a little bit because it's a lot of hair being that my sides are tapered I thought about even coming down with it and just taking all the back off and just giving it that little layered look coming up front I don't know y'all I gotta decide I want to chop it off it's chopped off it's chopped chop and screw it's chopped off so you can't go back and be like okay well no i really like the other look now because that's it you know so if i do decide to do that yeah i'm gonna say eight point i'm already take it out but um if i do decide to cut it down or just you know bring it forward it would 
be in an angled look. Um, so I don't know yet, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But I wanted to show y'all this because I know I had showed you guys before this hair and the spaghetti looking one that I found out was supposed to be some box braids. I don't know. But um, nevertheless, um, this is from AliExpress. It took uh, probably about a good three to four months for me to receive it, if not longer. I think I remember me showing you the pack that it came in like this. That is the same hair that I decided to fit my head. Not the spaghetti one. Don't get it confused as the other one. So um, I realized y'all ain't got my lashes. I need to fix my contour. But it's cool. I just wanted to kind of show y'all what I was doing. And I'm going to get back to what I was doing because I feel so uncomfortable not being finished. But I kind of wanted to let y'all know what I was doing. I'll give y'all an update, um, hopefully in a couple of days, how this is holding up. Because, you know, more hair you put in your head um, and how you braid or style the braid, how you braid your hair underneath the crochet makes a big difference. Because if you didn't braid it properly, it doesn't stay in. We all know this, right? Cool. Kudos. So I will just give y'all a rundown on how it's holding up in the next couple of days. It's either going to stay in and hold up or it's going to start coming apart and falling out and I'll see them on the bed. So, um, anyway, you guys, um. I did grease my scalp with that new girl that I told y'all about grease that helps the hair grow. And um, I like to keep my scalp moisturized for the simple fact that it's not all about just having a protective style. It's also about making sure your hair underneath is safely taken care of. Also, too, you know, this could definitely be layered. So I don't know, y'all. Y'all going to see in a couple of days if I decide to keep it in. You will see me with the whole facial features done. Everything's going to be. And then you'll be like, okay, she did this with it. She did that. So I kind of just wanted to show y'all what I've been doing. Because um, I had took the braids out to give it a break. Give my scalp a break. And I, I got tired of that look. But tune in to me, you guys. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will be updating you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Those of you who aren't subscribed. Those of you who aren't a subscriber, please tune in and subscribe to my channel. And also, I've been watching a lot of Urban Extractions. And I've been working on my own coaching moochie. And I'm going to be doing that too. So y'all probably like, that girl bold. Yeah, I am. So I'm going to do it. Because I feel like I've seen so many of the videos. I felt like I could do it. And I started on it like the other day and this morning. And I'm like, I got it. I got it. I got it. So I want to show y'all that too. Hopefully I, I won't show you guys too much. I've been looking for volunteers. Um, but until I get one, we're going to work with my cookie. All right. So y'all have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.